This is going to be a super useful video for any teacher or student. I'm going to highlight the best three AI technologies that I found so far in 2026. We're halfway through. What I do is I'm going to quickly show you the technologies so you can learn about them and then direct you to a longer video if you want to study them further. Super useful. Really hope you like the video. And if you do, please like it. Please share it. Please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now for me, when it comes to preparing material for my classes or studying in preparation for a lesson or preparing for a presentation or anything where I need to learn information about a particular topic, there really can't be anything better than Notebook LN from Google. And incredibly, it's completely free. Let me try to show you how this technology works. Basically, you can upload up to 50 different sources of information. Let's say that you was interested in a particular topic and you've got lots of things that you want to read, you want to listen to, perhaps you've got some PDF files, some YouTube videos you want to watch, some audio files. What you can do is upload them and then Google LM will do lots of different things to facilitate you understanding as much as possible about the topic. So basically, it will summarize all the content that you upload for you. It will produce for you an audio podcast, which is superb, and it does it as, it, as if it was kind of presenting a radio program. It will produce for you a timeline of the events connected to whatever topic it is, it will give you a whole list of frequently asked questions on that topic. It will give you a study guide with questions and answers to help you to prepare and study for the topic. It will even give you some briefing notes, which is like basically a summary. Now, on top of that, it will also generate for you a mind map. And incredibly, you also have something here, which is a feature that I notice a lot of teachers don't completely understand. So this section here really is like sort of ChatGPT or Google De Gemini. In other words, you are, can ask it any questions or any information, but it's not going onto the internet or accessing a large language model. Actually, it's accessing all the content that you've uploaded. Now you can even say, well, I only want you to, I only want to ask or ask questions and use these three sources. Or I can say, yeah, I want, to, I want to answer the questions from all of the sources. And you could come here and literally ask it anything. You could ask, of course, for a summary, and it's gonna generate a summary for you. You could ask it for some quiz questions based on the information. You could ask it for some multiple choice questions. You could ask it for a list of key findings. You literally are interviewing all of these documents all in one go. And as I said, you can be very selective. So this here really allows you to almost do anything with the documents. So the brilliant thing here is if you're trying to prepare a talk or a presentation and you wanna quickly get all this information together, you can do it. Out of all the features, personally I would say the most impressive is the audio tool. It really is very impressive. And I'm just gonna quickly give you a taster of what it sounds like. Remember, it's produced an audio podcast based on all of this, all of this data here on the right hand side. And if I click on this, it's like a show on the radio. You know that feeling, right? You get feedback on something, maybe something you worked really hard on. Mm -hmm. And you're just staring at these comments, trying to figure out what they really mean. It can feel like, I don't know, cracking a code sometimes. It really now it starts a bit slow, but if you was to move that on, you'll find that it's really going through the details of the findings and all the key points. And that is absolutely fantastic. And you can even download this. So this means that if you want to walk around listening to the summary podcast, because you can't sit at your computer, you can do that. Now, incredibly, there's one other brilliant feature. It allows you to interact with the podcast. You can actually join the podcast. So if I click on this button here, interactive mode beta, and then I just wait for a few seconds. Then all I need to do is start the podcast again. You know that feeling, right? You get feedback on something, maybe something you worked on. Now I'm going to click on. here. You're just staring at these comments. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. Yeah, I just wondered, how do students feel about screen capture feedback? Do they really find that it's useful? 
That is an excellent question, and actually brings us right into our deep dive today. It's fantastic you ask, because understanding the student perspective is exactly what we're going to unpack. Yeah, you know... Okay, you can just see the power of that. So really do think that Google LM Notebook is one of the most impressive AI tools that I've come across so far this year. Okay, I really am very impressed with Google LM when it comes to preparing talks, presentations, etc. And if you like it too, please click on the like button. And if you want to learn more about that technology, watch the video that's on the screen now that goes through it in much more detail. I'm going to move on now to another technology that I absolutely love. It's called Gaston. And this technology extracts the transcript from a YouTube video. Now that in itself is nothing and many technologies do that. But this technology has a number of super interesting features, including ChatGPT embedded into the system so that you can immediately interact with the transcript that you've downloaded or extracted from a YouTube video. Incredibly, you can use this technology for free once a day for a complete video, I think up to 30 minutes. Absolutely superb. Let me quickly take you through it and then I'll show you a video where you can learn more. So this is Gaston Live, and I will put the link in the description below if you want to try this out. And I've also put the link to the to uh, Google LM, of course. Um, let me just show you an example that I've already done, and then I'll show you how you do it. But if I click here, you can see immediately that we've got the audio file. We can play it. We've done a lot of coverage of advances in AI. But what we've also got, as you notice here, is the transcript. Notice you've also got the speakers, which is quite uncommon. There are many features, and the video that I'm going to highlight in a minute will show them all to you, but I just want to show you one thing. You can click here, and now what you can do is you can talk immediately to this transcript and extract from it, say, words, phrases. You could ask it to, can you produce Let's say, let's ask it to produce eight comprehension questions based on the transcript. So I've asked it, can you produce eight true or false questions based on the transcript? And it's already done that. Now, one thing I would also ask it is, can you give me the answer so that you know if they're true or false? So basically, what it's done is gone through that transcript and produced those for me. And of course, I can copy those. So if you're a teacher and you want to prepare materials around a YouTube video, this is absolutely fantastic. As I said, there are many other features as well. But let me quickly show you how you do it. All you need to do is click on Add Media and you will paste in a YouTube video here. So let me quickly copy one for you. So I've got a video here that I wanna use. I wanna get the uh, extract, the, the um, transcript from it. I'm gonna come back, I just copy the link at the top, come over to here, paste it in, and then click on this button here. Now, of course, it's not gonna be instant because it's gonna analyze the voice and actually extract the transcript, but let's just give it a few seconds and it will start doing it. In fact, you can already see that it's started. And there it is, the transcript is ready. And the same thing now, I could click on the AI and let's say, for example, I want it to give for me 10 of the most difficult words in the text. So I've said, can you give me 10 difficult words to study? I need to study to understand this text. I'm learning English and I'm gonna press on the enter button and it's gonna do exactly that. It also already summarizes, it does this automatically. There it goes, it's produced those 10 words for me. I could get them in to translate them. I could get it to do, for example, to produce some true or false questions, some multiple choice questions, to make a gap fill activity, etc., etc. Okay, if you like Gaston and you want to learn more about it, watch the video that's on the screen now. It's going to go through it in much more detail, including show you many of the other features that are available. Don't forget, if this video is useful, please click on the like button. I'm going to move on now and choose a third technology that I really like. But just before I do, if you want more free videos, don't forget you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of free material, loads of free videos. And if you're a teacher, then you might be interested in signing up to my newsletter. We're up to something like about 10,000 teachers. I do specialize really in technologies for language teachers. So particularly if you're a language teacher, you're gonna find that interesting. And if you do sign up, there is a kind of free 
14 part mini video course on the key technologies uh, that we can use in our teaching and learning in languages and nearly everything that I highlight is free. Now the third tool I'm going to show you is also a Google tool which is great news because it's free and I personally think that Google are doing a great job in the AI sphere but particularly in education and what I want you to do is I want you to go to Google AI Studio and when you click on it after you've done the search what I want you to do is we're going to look at the podcast dialogue generation tool which we could use to generate any type of dialogue at any level or it can be a monologue if we want like a radio podcast or an interview and we can control the level and the content and I'm going to show you how. So when you come onto this technology and it has a number of features the one that I want you to click on is generate media and then I want you to click on this one here Gemini speech generation. Now, what you can do is you can get it to generate uh, audio, and it could be a monologue, as I've said, or it can be multi speaker audio, but you do need to provide the actual dialogue. Now, you might be saying to me, but Russell, how are we going to do that? Well, the great thing is, see, that there's another button here which will take you straight to Google Gemini. And you can jump over to Google Gemini, get it to write the dialogue for you, copy it, and then just paste it in, and it will generate the audio. And let me show you how you do that. So you're going to click first here on, click on stream, because this is really useful. You can literally now just talk to Google Gemini and tell it what you want it to produce, or just write the prompt in. Now, I really like to talk to it. Google Gemini, can you produce for me a dialogue where two people are discussing the merits of using AI in education? I want it to be an academic conversation between two professors, and I want them one of them to be very positive about the future of AI and how it's going to impact on education and the other speaker to be rather negative and worry about the implications of AI. Can you format it for me so that I can copy it immediately and move it into the podcast generation tool? So can you clearly mark the two speakers, format it for me so that I can copy the text and paste it in to AI Studio audio tool and generate a podcast. Sure. Here's a dialogue between two professors, Professor Ada, who is optimistic about AI, and Professor Ben, who is cautious, discussing the use of AI in education. Professor Ada, I believe AI has the potential to revolutionize education. It can personalize learning experiences and provide valuable support to both students and teachers Okay, so let's just let it write this. Now, what you will need to do afterwards is literally copy from this point on where it actually begins. And clearly, it's marked the first speaker and it's clearly marked the second speaker. Remember, I asked it to format the dialogue so that I could copy it. Let's see what happens. Now, remember, if you're not happy, if the dialogue's not long enough or you want it to be longer, you can just simply say to Google Gemini, can you write along a dialogue or can of course you can just write the prompt now it's written a dialogue for me uh, it's a bit short normally it writes quite long dialogues but this one's quite short but we won't worry we're just going to copy that it's going to come over and copy that and then we're going to come down to the build sorry to the media generation we're going to click on Gemini speech generation we're going to delete all of this information here and we're going to paste in the text and then we're going to click on run dialogue and i'm hoping it's going to generate the audio for me so i click on that button there and let's just wait a minute okay now it's produced that for me and i'm just going to play a little bit of it for you i believe ai has the potential to revolutionize education it can personalize learning experiences and provide valuable support to both students and teachers. So uh, let's carry on, sorry, so you can hear this second speaker. While there are potential advantages, I worry about the over-reliance on technology. And now, one thing about this tool is that we can kind of give it more information. We could, have, for example, have said, well, Professor Ada is such and such a person, is gonna speak with a bright voice and the second, so you can actually give 
more information about the speakers. So you can do that before the dialogue starts if you want to. You can just write in some additional information that will structure and help to make uh, it sound more realistic. But this is a great way of generating a dialogue or a monologue. Remember, you can use this also as a monologue tool as well. Now, there are many more features in Google AI Studio. Now, I think that Google AI Studio is really interesting and it does a lot more. It does image generation, video generation, and generates all sorts of content for education. If you wanna learn more about it, watch the video that's on the screen now. A lot of people ask me how I make my videos. Well, I use a technology called Camtasia and I do have another channel on YouTube called Screencast Guru. And if you want to access that channel and learn more about how I built up my YouTube channel in education and how I make my videos, etc., click on the link that's on the screen now and subscribe to that channel. And it's all about everything that I've done to build up my YouTube channel. I'm going to leave on the screen now a couple more videos and one thing to keep in mind if you do want to have training with me and meet me on a regular basis I do run a Patreon it's quite successful they're all teachers that are subscribed to it it's only six dollars a month you get extra videos every week with no ads and additionally, you also get a once a month meeting with me where I train you in a particular technology. And also, if you join now, you get access to all the backdated material over a year and a half. All the videos are fairly short. They're straight to the point. There's no advertising or anything. You might find that really useful. Thank you very much. And I'll leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find interesting.